I graduated with my master's degree in cybersecurity and information assurance from WGU one year ago. And in this video, I'm gonna go over whether or not I think WGU is still worth it. The short answer is yes, I do think WGU is still worth it one year later. I'm gonna go over why I think it's still worth it, some pros, cons, looking back one year, and also if I regret anything, so stay to the end of the video and I'll go over what I wish I had done differently. So so who is WGU for exactly? Well, WGU is for everyone who is short on time or money. The best thing about it is you can do an accelerated program and you can do as many courses as you can in the amount of time allotted, which is a six month term. And this is a steal and it is a great affordable online education that is highly reputable in the technical field. Now, I don't know about the other fields. This review is just if you're going into a technology related related career, and in which case I can say yes, WGU is worth it. I don't know about the nursing or the business ones, or sure there are more WGU reviews that you can look at on those topics. If you have a job and you can't go back to a brick and mortar college, or if you don't want to go into $100,000 of debt for a liberal arts degree, WGU is an amazing option and I strongly suggest it. I'm not sponsored by them, I'm not getting paid to do this. So some things that I really love about WGU is that it is competence-based, meaning you can do as many courses as you can in the allotted six month term. And so I finished my master's degree in cybersecurity within six months. And now a lot of people are like, well, did you really get an education? And the answer is yes. People think the more time you spend on something, the better quality your education is or the more mastery you have, and that is false. It's actually called Parkinson's Law. The amount of time you allot something is usually what it will expand to. So for instance, sometimes I take a week to clean my office, but because it took me a week, doesn't mean that it's better than if I had just finished it in a day. It actually might be better if I just finished finished it in a day. And a lot of the information I already knew, so I was able to accelerate my program. If you have no IT experience and don't know the difference between a switch and a router, it may be a little bit difficult for you, but because I have eight years of experience in IT and cybersecurity, I was able to accelerate my program within six months. I'm also really good at writing, and the majority of the classes were writing. The biggest pro about the master's degree in cybersecurity at WGU was that it prepared me for for the CISSP. Now I didn't actually take the exam and that is my biggest regret by the way is that I didn't take this CISSP while I had the time allotted. Now it's been a year and I still haven't taken it and I'm procrastinating and I'm like, ah. If you are going through that program, make sure to get the CISSP or CISP or however the YouTube algorithm recognizes it as. So maybe spend an extra month after you go through the program and get that cybersecurity certification because it is very valuable. Next pro is that it's extremely affordable. So for the six month term, because I was able to finish it within six months, it cost me $4,000. And this is a fully accredited degree. It was a great education. I also got the certified ethical hacker exam and they gave me a forensic investigator exam voucher, which I didn't use, but I do have that voucher, which is a steal because that's an expensive exam. That exam cost around $1,000 to take without it, and my tuition was only $4,000, and you get two free attempts, and then after that, I believe you pay around $400. And this to me is why WGU is so good. So even in their, their cybersecurity bachelor's programs, you get tons of industry standard cybersecurity certificates and you get a degree all for a very affordable price. It's not any different than a brick and mortar class, except that you don't have instructors giving you lectures. However, they do give you like online education tools such as Pluralsight, in which case, if you wanna watch lectures, you can do that. If you wanna read the book, you can do that. If you just wanna do projects, you can do that too. And that is the best thing about WGU, in my opinion. It gives you certificates, you get a degree that has hands-on experience during the classes. And I've been to both brick and mortar and I have done online. And to me, WGU is far superior than brick and mortar. The next one is that it is a really good education. I honestly like wouldn't have had the self-discipline to learn all of that without a degree program. Now, if you're that type of person that can learn it without structure and you can piece things like randomly through the internet, WGU 
to you is not for you. But to me personally, I liked the structure. I liked how they packaged everything. I liked how I took tests to validate that my knowledge was there. And I think that's the benefits of a cybersecurity degree program or any type of program really is that it structures the information for you in a certain way. Some cons to the WGU cybersecurity master's program is that you don't get the CISSP voucher included. You have to pay for it. It's an expensive voucher, $800, and they, they might not be able to provide that, but it would have been nice if like I got like a 10% discount or something, just saying. Uh, the next one is that if you lack self-discipline, doing WGU can be very difficult because there's no one that's going to be hand-holding you. You do get a mentor call once a week to make sure you're up to date and they just keep you motivated. But a lot of people have told me that they just lacked self-discipline and couldn't keep up with the program. And another con to WGU that has been mentioned to me is that there are no instructors. So when you go through the courses, there are not there are course mentors and they'll help you if you have any issues, but there are no actual instructors that will teach you or lecture you or any of that sort. Instead, they give you outside resources and books that you can go discover it on your own. And I think that is actually better because in the technology field, you're really going to have to figure out problems by yourself and you're not going to always have someone to hold your hand there for you. If you're looking into this field, I don't know how it is in other fields, but in IT, it's a very valuable skill to be able to find the answer on your own through research, through asking various random people on Reddit. Some people may see that as a con. I see it as a pro because there is no hand holding at WGU. But because of that, you can accelerate your program faster than you could at like a brick and mortar where they do hold your hand and give you tons of busy work, which is actually another pro of WGU is that there's not a lot of busy work that you have to do. You're either competent or you're not. You're gonna be kind of a generalist and once you get a job, you'll get more detailed knowledge and then you can pick a specialization once you get a feel of the industry. Really hard to do if you don't have any experience. Another question I get is, is WGU a scam? And the answer is no, it's not a scam. I had hiring managers that are going to WGU. My hiring manager's children are going to WGU. I know tons of people getting a degree in IT and cybersecurity from WGU and it's highly reputable and has a high alumni that you can connect with, such as myself. It's not a scam. It's actually a really good education and it fits the, the tech world really nicely. Now, if you're gonna go into other fields that aren't as progressive, maybe it's not as good. So always take that into consideration. What field am I going to? Another question I have gotten, has the WGU cybersecurity master's degree helped me? And the answer is kind of, I just did it because I wanted to learn more and have a master's degree. So I'd never have to worry about getting another degree in my life. But a master's degree, it's good to, if you want to become a manager. And so I have that option if I want to in the future to become a manager. When I did get the WGU master's degree though, like one month later, I was promoted to a lead technical position that may or may not have been a factor. I'm not 100% sure. Really, I think it was just how well I was doing in my previous job where I was basically the lead. And so they just promoted me to a lead, an actual lead position, but a lead technical position, not like a managerial position where I'm like writing policies. In the future, it does open up management options, but if you're just wanting to do technical things such as become a cybersecurity analyst, I have a video about it, or become forensics, or become a pen tester, a master's, or just become help desk. Master's degree is not needed at all. I would even debate whether or not a bachelor's in cybersecurity is worth it at all because you need technical skills and technical skills is very much different than theory. I mean, there's a huge debate. I do have a video on whether or not a cybersecurity degree is worth it if you want to check that out. The only regret that I have is that I didn't take the CISP at the end of my master's in cybersecurity from WGU. I really wish I had done that. It's really my only regret. And I wish I had, I don't know if you're familiar with the concept of personal knowledge management or building a second brain by Tiago Fort. If you're not, I strongly suggest going to check him out. I wish I had started that 
in my beginning is building up all of this technical knowledge that I would now have, but instead it's kind of like scattered everywhere, including my notes and my papers. And I don't have a centralized location or anything for all of the knowledge that I've acquired over like the last 12 years when I graduated high school. If you're thinking about going to WGU for any field, check out Tiago Ford to create a personal knowledge management system. Um, and you'll thank me later. His regret in life is not taking notes. Overall, I definitely think the WGU master's program is definitely worth it, even if it takes you a year. IT, cybersecurity, software development, but no one cares what your GPA is. No one cares that you have a degree. No one cares that you have these cybersecurity certifications. All they really care about is what are your actual skills? Can you apply them to make things more efficient? Can you solve problems? Do you know how to troubleshoot? And things of that sort, those are the important skills in IT. And I think this master program is really good at giving you a broad base of knowledge to help you better solve problems. And that's really what all of it is about in tech. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Are you unsure if WGU is for you? Some other really good resources is Josh Matacor. He has tons of videos on WGU and going into different programs and different thoughts on that. I wish I had the patience to make videos all about WGU, I just don't. But I've watched his videos, really good, so check him out. And also the WGU Reddit is also very good at answering questions and getting a good feel about the school and whether or not it's legit because some people think WGU is not legit, but it is. So those two resources, honestly, I think would further your decision making on whether or not the school is right for you. I can't tell you if it's right for you. You can have to make that own decision based on your life. And that would be the end of my review for Western Governor University for the master's degree in cybersecurity and information assurance. I do have other videos on WGU and how my degree program was and what I learned and my initial WGU review. You can also check that out. Look at those and I will see you next time. Come back to this video and let me know if you enrolled in WGU and how you're liking it.